Hey guys, it's Kira. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be recreating a look that I saw on one of Jenna Marble's old videos. It popped up on my recommendations and while I was at work, because while I'm at work I sometimes multitask by having like YouTube videos or music playing in the background to have like background noise. But then I caught this look that she did. It was from her video, My Boyfriend Buys My Makeup. It's over a year old, but I thought it was really cute and fun, and it was a fun look. My daughter's with her dad um, until tomorrow evening, so I figured I would just sit down and play with some makeup. It's just a look, like, I don't know if you... Look! I like don't post on Instagram. Okay. No, no. Here's the final look. Yeah. It's honestly not that bad. Yeah! So, I feel honestly, like it could it, be worse. It's super cute. So I'm going to try to do it my way. I don't have the palettes that she used, um, the eyeshadow palette, but I'm going to be using my um, Urban Decay Electric palette. My B got this for me for Christmas and one year, and I think it was for Christmas or was it my birthday? Either way, I have not used it. So I'm trying to play with some makeup that I don't use very often. So what I'm going to do, though, is I already primed and set my eyes, and I used this shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette, which is the In Light, which was a dumb idea because I completely forgot that it's not a matte. And pick up Silk Cream, the Moda Pro BMX 430 Crease Brush, so that way I can start packing in and creating a transition. Is that better? Hopefully you can see me still. So going in, blending that out. Okay, I'm gonna deepen that up a little bit with butter with the same brush. I'm gonna go into the electric palette. I'm going to use Freak. I'm going to see how this looks without any Fix Plus. I'm Morphe G15. I'm going to pack that all over the lid. I'm going to use my Max Fix Plus. Spray the little brush. And then go back in to Freak and pat again. What I'm going to do next is use my Anna Sui Pore Smoothing Primer. I'm just going to take a little bit, put it into my pores, like where it's a lot larger than my other areas, which is typically like here, here. Just kidding. Take some of this into my hand. Ooh. Okay. It's really pretty. It's like a purple color. I, I don't know why I put it there in my hand like that. All this feels like really nice. Hmm. It smells good. I want to try the Jackie Ina. Um, trick with her setting powder, but I'm not going to do it with my hourglass. I'm going to do it with, um, cause I don't want to waste my hourglass to, to set until after, so I'm going to use a different powder. Okay, so I decided to wet both of my new sponges. Just I figured maybe like I could do half and half um, just to see. <laughs> so I'm going to actually use my but I'm going to use my Derma Blend. I got this as a deluxe sample a long time ago. Um, I think I mentioned it in my other video where I'm trying to use up my deluxe samples. As I go through my deluxe samples, I can kind of declutter because I do have a lot of things. Um, this way, the things that I have are things that I actually truly want and not just like, oh, it was free, says the girl who also just got all of that, um, all those samples of the foundations. But... Alright, so I'm going to try to set the primer, the Jackie Ina style, and see how that goes with putting on my foundation. I like how soft the sponge is, so that's nice. 
I mean, beauty blenders are usually really soft anyways. Try this guy. I think I like the beauty blender for setting the powder. Maybe this might be different for um for the foundation. But as far as how my face looks, I feel like this side is like retaining retaining what I what I put on. Today I'm going to use the Becca. You know what? Should I use the Becca? Yeah, fuck it, screw it. We're gonna use it. Oh my god, it's already like it's already separating on my face. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, the way that that's separating already. I think it might be the primer. I'm gonna have to try it with a different primer. But let me try this brush, this brush, this sponge. See how it blends on this side. Yeah, it's like sinking into all of my like little acne scars. I don't know if it's the primer. I don't know if it's the primer with this foundation. I don't know if it's that. Oof. This is really bad. And I'm just going to have to figure out how to salvage it. Um, so I'm going to. I don't know if it's because I tried the powder trick. Maybe it just doesn't work for my face. Oh my god. This is just. I'm not happy. I mean, I already know I have bad skin, but it's like, it doesn't normally do this, so I'm going to set this, because this is just, maybe I can salvage it with <laughs> something else, but this is bad. I'm not, I'm not happy. <laughs> so I guess this is kind of like a recreate slash first impressions. I keep using the Derma Blend, because, um... I'm not going to put, I'm not going to waste my hourglass on this fucked up foundation. I'm not saying this foundation in particular is shitty, it's just whatever, however I did my makeup today did not agree with this foundation. So I'm going to have to try this foundation another way to see how it works. Seriously, just like a big chunk just like sitting right here and it's like missing <sighs> moving forward we're just gonna pretend that everything's gonna be okay so I'm gonna go into my new butter bronzer and bronze my face oh it does smell like the beach everyone's always making comments on how it smells so I'm using this big old brush. Let's see here. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm just kind of grazing over my nose a little. Sorry for putting that right there. For the blush, I'm going to go into the Love Flush Too Faced Wardrobe. And I think I'm going to go into Baby Love, so that way I can kind of keep it a little soft. Since we are doing a little bit of a funky look with the green, I'm going to funk it up a little bit with the Kat Von D palette. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of the Green Emerald touch of the Violet Amethyst and Opal. And I'm using the um, Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. I'm using the same brush, I'm going to go into my Becca and use the Pearl for my nose and my Cupid's bow. Now for my eyebrows, I'm going to use this new tool, I think it's Chella. Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. I, 
think this came in with one of my boxy charms, which I did cancel my thing. Can't tell if I got enough product or not. Let's see. Oh, I guess I did. Okay. Ooh, definitely darker than taupe. <laughs> Holy shit, my eyebrows look really dark. Which, normally I don't mind a dark brow when I have, like, the makeup to go with it. But I don't think my makeup is matching my brows right now. Now, the next step is for the under eye. Where she did that purple smoky underneath the eye. Go in with Urban. Let's see, I'm going to look up. Kind of giving me some Joker vibes right now <laughs> with the green and the purple. And the next thing that she did was have that blue eyeliner. So I'm actually going to use the Marc Jacobs out of the blue. See how this works because I don't have a liquid liner to go with it. So let me see how this glides. tight lining. Kind of scared about creating the wing with this liner because it's not a liquid liner. I think I'm going to do is take some Durlene from Inglot that I have and use it to create a liner and use a liner brush so that way I don't mess up the rest of this. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put this in my lower lash line as well, though. So I'm going to take some of this Duralene from Englot, and I'm going to tuck a little drop into Chaos and see if I can create a liner with that. So sorry, my camera was a jerk and decided to stop recording while I was creating this. And of course, because that... I opened my eye too early and got some blue on my eye. The pat over it, just a dash. So if you don't have the Duralene, get it because you can create an eyeshadow or turn an eyeshadow into a liner. Now it's time for mascara, and again, I'm so sorry that my camera died on me while I was doing my liner. Here are my lashes up close after three coats. I'm going to take and light this spot a little bit in my inner corner. Not a lot. Now we're going to do lips. So in the video she did like this really pretty pink color. I'm thinking about doing these two colors. I can't. This one's a Kat Von D one. I don't remember um, the name. The sticker fell off so I'm going to have to figure that out. It's one of their hot pink colors. It's one of the new ones. And then this is Weekend Barbie Lip Gloss from Anastasia. So I'm going to go ahead and do my lips real quick. <laughs> That's bright. So that has set down. I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle. And I'm really enjoying this matte lip on its own. I'm going to have to definitely wear this color again. Ooh. Okay. Feeling fancy. Oh, yeah, this is almost an awesome. I guess I'll just use my Fix Plus instead. Look how cute this bottle is. Maybe I could spray my face. See how it feels. One thing I like about this spray is that the smell is not a smell that is super perfumey. It's got a nice, like, 
fresh scent so whatever perfume that you use with it it's gonna just blend nicely if that makes any sense whatsoever I have no idea it's late and I'm really hungry <laughs> alright guys this is the finished look of Jenna Marbles um, from her video that she did with her boyfriend. My boyfriend buys my makeup a little over a year ago. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm definitely going to have to try a different primer because when I looked at my face, my face looks really dry. And I'm typically normally an oily person. Or <laughs> an oily person. <laughs> I have a no... I have oily combo skin, so I'm going to just definitely have to play with it. Thank you guys for joining me. Hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see y'all soon. Thank you. Bye.